beginning with the masculine first. How does he view the relationship? Nice. Six of Pentacles. So, um, this is a feeling of doing a lot of hard work in the physical world. Laying a foundation, feeling optimistic. It is being open to giving and receiving. Uh, so, yeah, he's looking towards the future. You make him feel abundant. You make him feel... Um, balance materially and spiritually so he feels abundant optimistic excited about the future so three cards for that please spirit nine of wands six of swords and the eight of cups wow that's some heavy energy so it seems to me like he has had his heart broken many times in the past um, but he's risen from it He's looking to the future with optimism. Um, so the Nine of Wands, that's all about the wounded warrior. It's been knocked down so many times, but he keeps getting up. Uh, it's being the in the eye of the storm. So just chaos surrounding him. He's got a lot of wounds, a lot of battle scars, but he's ready to fight that final fight. Stand up for what he wants. Um, but this seems to require him to leave something, a situation, a situation that is draining him mentally, emotionally, as well as physically. Okay, it is nasty energy that, that is surrounding him. So, um, but there's a sense that he's finally ready to move on away from the darkness towards the light. So that's exactly what these cards represent. The Six of Swords is finally ready to move on from negative people, negative energy, and negative thoughts. Okay, moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. So from this state of mind to this state of mind. Okay, the Eight of Cups is the same idea, but it is moving away from emotional abuse. Um, putting your foot down saying, that's it, I'm done, I'm out the door, and he's gone. And he's moving towards the light. Same thing with this card. He's moving towards the light. So this is a pilgrimage. It is search for your truth. It is, uh, these both represent a very calming, healing state. So yeah, he, he sees you as his ability to heal his heart and have the courage and strength to move on from those nasty aspects of his life. Okay, so how you view um, the relationship. Nice, awesome, divine feminine twin flame. There you are, divine feminine. Heart chakra open, ready to receive love. You're grounded. You are, you are the goddess of love. It is such a beautiful energy to start with. He makes you feel this way. Hangman, awesome. Five of Swords. And the King of Swords. Okay, so the Hangman, that talks about surrendering, letting go, self-sacrifice. It is letting go of the need to control a situation and seeing things from a different perspective. It's, it's kind of like the dark night of the soul, but it is a, a surrender and enlightenment. So it really seems to me like you've been doing a lot of work uh, and you are no longer in the state of needing to control something. You've walked away from conflict and the need to control. That's what this is about. The Five of Swords is not engaging in arguments in conflict anymore. It's deciding to walk away, letting go of control. And the King of Swords could represent an air sign um, or it could represent this energy of being det detached emotionally from a situation. You have mental clarity and mental control. You're standing here with this sort of truth in your hand and nothing can waver you. You know what you want. Um, you've surrendered. You will not engage in conflict anymore and you are in this peaceful state. Just standing here with your heart chakra activated with love at a soul level. 
and so strong. Okay, so next is going to represent what is he resisting? Wow, six of swords. So that's this card right here. Moving on. Uh, so the six of swords. Yeah, see how beautiful that is? It's moving from the darkness into the light. So there's a sense that he's resisting this. He wants to. He needs to in order to really, you know, have this beginning in the 3D world, he really needs to move on and let it go, but he, there's a sense that he's resisting that. So let's see what's happening with that. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, this is waiting. It's um, the pregnant pause, gestation period. Uh, so it comes after this card right here, right? So this is a six, here's a seven. So there's a sense that he's done a lot of work in laying a foundation and he's building upon it for the future. And now there's a sense of wait for the harvest, wait for the ships to come in, waiting for that return. But while he's waiting, he is going within and reevaluating his life. You know, um, seeing where he succeeded and continuing to move from there. You know, he's planning his path. He feels successful. Now, this card usually represents that that harvest is coming. The wait is almost over. So, you know, good things come to those who wait, and it's only a matter of time. His success is assured. Then we have the Six of Cups. Notice two sixes here. Uh, same thing here, two sixes. So this all has to do with relationships, union, partnerships, you know. So the Six of Cups talks about reunion. Somebody from your past coming back, someone who you, you love dearly. And the emotions that you feel for this person is very pure and innocent like these children. So yeah, someone from the past, he wants to connect with somebody from the past, which would be you, but there's a sense that he can't move forward because something needs to be released first, and there's a sense that he's waiting. Okay, um, now we have the Knight of Wands, and that's that blast out of the gate, forward towards your future. He's off like, you know, a fireball towards his destiny. So once that return comes, there's a sense that he's gone. He's out of there towards the light, riding this horse of fire towards his destiny. Okay, next is what are you resisting? Light, the sun. Um... This is the best major arcana to get. It means abundance. It means uh, illumination, um, achievement. Um, it is a state of completion, arrival. Um, and you're being placed on a pedestal. You're being placed in the light. It is your turn to shine in the light. But there's, it's in the resisting position. So there's that potential there for this incredible harvest and return to come towards you but there's a sense there's resistance high priest <laughs> nice 11 11 awesome and nine of pentacles awesome okay not the high priest hierophant this is a divine masculine in a spiritual form completely enlightened using his um, third eye chakra, crown chakra to really activate the field of potential, um, download information that he needs, you know, from the Akashic records. And then he shares that, that wisdom and knowledge with others. So he's really stepping into his spiritual role, his true calling. Um, then we have the 1111 connection. Yeah, baby. Awesome. So this is a twin flame union. It's been confirmed. You are coming in as a divine feminine. Um, we got the 1111 calling card here. And 
yeah so I would not be surprised if the lover's card shows up as well as the divine masculine because I'm really getting a strong sense here that you guys are awake evolved um, enlightened but again this is in your resisting position so I think the delay comes from this aspect here he needs to awaken into his full potential first before this union can take place but again um, this is the best major arcana to get and the fact that it is connected to this 1111 connection means that this is happening okay the nine of Pentacles so this is abundance harvest it's ripeness the 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 uh, fruit is ripened and it's ready to fall from the tree uh, it represents um, earthly possessions like um, you've built up a wealth for yourself and now you are at a state or at a point where you can enjoy li life and you don't have to worry about money so you know it's a sense of you know walking along the beach and listening to the waves crashing and just enjoying life and the fighter things that you know life has to offer and uh, so not only do you have this spiritual abundance and enlightenment enlightenment spiritual growth but you also have this twin flame abundance and material abundance but there's that sense that you know things are ripened they're ready to fall off the tree but there's this delay the sense that he really needs to come into his full, fullest potential, fullest spiritual understanding in order to, to truly connect. Okay, so any kind of negative energy is stopping this union, right? So um, you are surrendering, you are letting go, you're no longer engaging in conflict. But this Six of Swords twice, plus with the Eight of Cups, there's that sense that he is, and the Nine of Wands, there's that sense that he is ready to go he's nearing you know he's ready to walk out that door but he's still resisting he knows what his destiny entails but he's resisting okay so for his message from his higher self two of wands perfect the waiting game again there's that sense of he has to wait so the ace of wands is that shot out of you know the the gun going off the light turning green in and he shoots out of the gate, right? Ace of Wands, brand new life, brand new start, um, blank slate. You're directing your goals to your highest dreams. And then the Two of Wands talks about expansiveness of the mind, broadening your horizons, seeing things from a higher perspective, um, seeing how you're connected to all. You are the universe. Okay, so you and I'm talking to the masculine um, he has made a decision in his past that wasn't based on fear it was based on his highest dreams and expectations and goals and now and he put those dreams into motion and now he's waiting for that payoff that return and again that return is assured it's that same sense of waiting well, this is a pentacle, which refers to earthly possessions. This is a weight in return, uh, in terms of your dreams, your goals, those things that inspire you, those things that make you feel like this, alive. Okay, so three cards, nice. Wow, that is a chariot. Whoa, tower card, awesome. And the eight of wands, beautiful. Okay, the chariot very similar energy to this knight of wands it's that forward movement on fire towards your your dreams your your ultimate goal uh your destiny okay but this is a major arcana this is full steam ahead charging um and you have the reins and it's a directed energy it's power it's force of will it's determination and uh like it's a finality then we have the tower card so this is you know when you build something on a faulty foundation it is meant to crumble so this is a dark night of the soul that is releasing this negative energy so his higher self is telling him um 
you know, to be the consciousness behind the tower and allow the tower to fall. So it's almost like you can hear the clock ticking on his side of the reading. Tick tock, tick tock. And at some point, there's going to be this sudden energy that, that comes in, releases him from this chain, and off he goes. You know, and there's this destruction that's left behind him. But it has to come down in order for him to really truly step into his divinity, his spirituality, his truth, his true calling, his destiny. And that is what this card represents. It is the Eight of Wands. It is Cupid's Arrows, but it's also reaching for the stars. <clears throat> and I just got a scratchy throat. Every time I do that, it has to do with communication. So communication has to... Uh, he wants to communicate with you. The Eight of Wands could actually be texting on a phone or or a phone call, okay? So I had to get that, get that out there uh, because so I can actually speak. I got a scratchy throat whenever I... Either it's the throat chakra card or this card that shows up. So yeah, he wants to communicate. Or this could mean that he is getting synchronicities and signs from spirit um, to move forward with his dreams and goals. Okay, back to this card. It's about reaching for the stars. It's seeing your dreams and going for it, but now the energy is coming back to you like this quick, fast energy, boom, boom, boom. Uh, and it's all flowing into him. And that is like this crazy whirlwind of fire happening here right now. Uh, the tower is fire, the chariot is fire, and the eight of wands is fire, and the two of wands is fire. So there is an explosion of excitement on his side. You know, there's this, it's almost like he's forcing all of this passion and his, his dreams, you know, he's trying to force it down, but it cannot be contained. Clearly, it cannot be contained. So it's like he's nearing a breaking point. And the, the tower is coming down, whether he likes it or not, it's happening. And, yeah. Okay, so for a message from your higher self. Whoa, that's awesome. Look at all this brightness. Um, we got, you got the sun card here and the star card now. And plus, you're all glowing over there as a divine feminine. That is so beautiful. And here he's looking towards the sun as well. Here he's looking towards the sun. And you're all like the sun and stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So, um, the hope card is the star card, which is wish granted. Whatever you wished upon is going to be fulfilled. Uh, so it's like, you know, he saw his highest potential, reached for the stars, and it's like, here we go, is that return, that those good vibes, everything coming towards you. It's almost like a, kind of a reflection in energy here. He's like sending Cup Cupid's arrows out to you, and here it comes. So there's a beautiful exchange of energy, energy between the two of you on a 5D level. Also, whenever this... Um, Hierophant pops in. I usually like to associate that with your connection um, on a 5D level. So I forgot to mention that, especially when it's right beside this 1111 card. So whenever I see this, it's like him popping in to say, I'm always with you, even though I'm not with you on the 3D, I'm with you on the 5D level. So yeah, back to the hope card. This is a message from your higher self. So dreams coming true. Nice. Okay. Rebirth. Whoa, Three of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. So this card usually shows up after a very difficult period of time. And it comes to tell you that the worst is over. Now it's time to, of healing. There's hope for the future. Optimism. So, um, yeah, allow this time to rest and heal your heart. So here we have the Death card, Transformation, Metamorphosis. Um, cutting away your ego, all those self, those attachments, those lies, um, those past lives, 
you know, just cutting away this false identity and letting it fall. And from that, you are reborn um, like, like a butterfly, you know, um, you gain your butterfly wings. So yeah, this, there's a sense that you did all the work. You went through the dark night of the soul and you, there was a rebirth. Um, but there, it's telling me that you still need to heal your heart as well. Um, you've, your heart has been broken. You've had to release some things that caused you pain. So there's this energy that's still lingering. So there's something that needs to be cut away from your life that is still causing you heartbreak. Okay, so once that's done, all your hopes and dreams will come true. Um, yeah, so there's a sense of resistance here, right? You're resisting being the sun. So, you know, you're, you're reaching up to grab that star and Spirit is saying you are that star. So the Knight of Swords is a very sudden energy. It comes in out of the blue. Um, and he carries the Sword of Truth. So there's a, a lot of cutting energy here, cutting away the negativity. So he comes to speak the truth. He is a champion. He is a rebel without a cause. He is unattached to his emotions. He, um, he has clarity of thought. And yeah, he's not, a, not afraid to speak his truth. So there's a sense that communication needs to occur in order for you to truly release this heartbreak. Hmm. That was an unexpected turn of events. Okay, next is his um, past position, Ace of Swords, Triumphant Success, Victory. It is having a grand idea and moving forward with it. It is clarity of thought, it is cutting away the darkness, the barriers, and um, yeah, moving forward with an idea. It's truth as well. So Three of Wands, um, Seven of Cups and Nine of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Wands, that comes after the Two of Wands right here. So th there was a return, he felt successful. So that waiting game kind of ended. He felt um, the first signs of, you know, the, the fruits of his labor. He's starting to see that return in the past. But there's still a sense that there's more waiting. Um, and the Seven of Cups talks about confusion, uh, needing to make a decision and not knowing which way to turn. So and it has to do with emotions as well. So this talks about going within in order to, you know, listen to your soul and that way you can move forward. So there's a sense that, you know, he's been illuminated. Um, but there's still a weight, and it's because he's, he can't really truly see his way clearly right now, although that's, his, that's what he wants to do. He wants to cut away the darkness. So again, this is his, his recent past position, right? So this is energy that's coming into the present. Um, the Nine of Cups is wish granted. Uh, this also rep represents emotional abundance, satisfaction, it's celebrating love. Um, being in this environment where music is being played and people are laughing and enjoying themselves. Um, so yeah, it's like he wants this dream. He wants to feel this emotional, you know, unconditional love. Um, but he needs clarity or he needs to speak his truth. All right, so for your recent past, intuition, high priestess, noise. So yeah, this is you really stepping into your goddess role. And it is the, the, your way of popping in, saying to the masculine, I'm here with you on a 5D level, always with you. 
uh, so you really came into your psychic, uh, intuitive self. Uh, this is someone who is able to see beyond illusions, cut to the truth, um, dig deep beyond the veil to the subconscious, and uh, use her inner knowing to guide her. Two of Swords. Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands again. So the Two of Swords, Two Swords, or two, two Twos is what I was trying to say, Three Twos. Uh, so Twos are about union. You got a Two here, the High Priestess is a Two, and then a Two of Wands. Uh, so that's about union, making a decision. Um, yeah, choices, decisions. Two of Swords is a feeling of indecisiveness. You got two roads to travel down. Both um, decisions have Im their implications, far-reaching consequences. So the decision is weighed carefully, but there's a sense that there's stagnation, in an inability to move forward. And um, so there's a sense of being stalled or stopped. Um, then we have the Queen of Cups, so this could represent a water sign, uh, especially with the High Priestess because that's a water sign as well. Um, but the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups are very similar in that they're highly intuitive. They have psychic abilities, so this is a double whammy here. Um, yeah, so the, the Queen of Cups is very loving. She's a queen of love. Uh, this is the goddess of love. So, Queen of Cups is a, the queen of love. So, um, you are holding this open space like, you know, it's quite obvious how open and loving you are and grounded you are. The Divine Feminine got this as an energy in last week's Twin Flame reading. So, um, it's kind of neat that it's showing up in the recent past. So you're really holding this door wide open for him. And it's because you are psychically intuitive and loving, grounded. Um, so yeah, it's the Two of Wands is all about seeing the, um, the possibilities, expansiveness, seeing how you're connected to the universe, to all, making a decision in the past that wasn't based on fear and waiting for that return. So... Yeah, you're sitting here with the door wide open. Now, I'm getting in the sense that this is a male energy. So this in, um, indecision call, caused a stall, but that didn't affect you because you knew what you wanted. You know the direction of your goals. Uh, and so you're standing here open and loving and accepting. Right? There's an indecision here where I was getting that kind of that feeling over here. He wants to make a decision but can't with the Seven of Cups. There's this confu confusion here. But ultimately, he wants to manifest his dreams, abundance of love. He wants to move towards love, which is you. Look how beautiful you are. Okay, his present position. Wow. Stand your ground never give up never surrender very powerful card so currently he is finding his truth finding his power uh, and you know um, standing up for his core values and beliefs and breaking out of the chain of this negativity so it's like he's exploded into this fireball of energy I, wow not eight of cut or sorry eight of pentacles uh nice star card and six of wands holy man this is beautiful okay eight of pentacles so here in you know how he views love and relationship he is working very hard in the 3d world he feels very optimistic when it comes to you he sees you as the sun so he wants to move towards that and currently, he's still continuing to work hard in the 3D world, um, planting the seeds and growing them so he can have a ben abundance uh, to offer you. And it's making him strong, feel stronger every day. So he also got the star card. 
So again, the star card comes after a difficult period of time. Um, there's a sense that the worst is over and now, uh, now harvest is coming, now abundance is coming. And it's exciting him, um, making him feel like he's a, achieved a lot. I mean, and uh, Spirit is patting him on the back and saying, look at you, you're, you're an amazing guy. So he, I think he's starting to believe it. Uh, so yeah, the star card is wish granted, your dreams are coming true, all good energy, flying your way, and it is a time of peace, rest, rejuvenation, healing. Six of Wands is a, another triumphant success, so much success and victory in this reading, crazy. Um, the Chariot is triumph as well. This is good news coming towards you. Um, again, the Eight of Wands, good news coming towards you, abundance coming towards you. Yeah, uh, again, wish granted. Holy moly, another wish granted. I'm stoked for you guys. So, yeah, this is a, a sense of major achievement, the Six of Wands. It is people cheering for you. You're literally in the spotlight. You are the star being recognized as the star. And people are cheering for you. Um, you're being rewarded. People are proud and they are using you as an example. Wow. So presently he feels like this. That is such a beautiful grounded energy to have, especially when, you know, we got this nonsense here that he still has to, to deal with. But there's a sense that he's strong enough to fight. He's not going to back down. He's not going to surrender to the bullshit. He's going to stand up. Fight for what he wants, which is you, and that requires to walk away from this darkness first into the light. So the wait is almost over. He He's resisting it, but he will uh, take that step. Okay, so your present position is nice. Six again, so many sixes. Um, six of cups. It's, uh, where is it? He got it. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. He got it in what he's resisting position. So um, this is somebody coming back from your past. Um, so it's a reunion. It is fond memories of someone, loving, gentle memories. You hold memories of him close to your heart, very gently, like a mother holding a child. And it's unconditional love. It's pure, innocent love. So you want a reunion. There's a sense that somebody is qu coming back to you when this card shows up. So it's your present position. What else do we got here? Wow, justice card. High priestess and page of pentacles. High, or sorry, the justice card is an 11. So this is good karma coming back to you. It's this balancing scales of justice. She sits at the fulcrum of the cosmic um, balancing scale. She speaks of uh, karma. So um, what you put out, you get back. Um, and she says that karma is going to come back to you in a good way. Okay, so um, it also represents a completion of a cycle as well. So karma is on your side. And why is it on your side? Because of this true love, this innocent, pure love that you're holding so preciously in your mind and close to your heart. And it's because of your connection with source, with divinity. You are such a glowing, bright light here. Um, you came into your knowing in the recent past. Um, you know, you're, you're that psychic, intuitive um, beautiful, gorgeous Queen of Cups, but also um, the High Priestess is double whammy for you. So you're really being recognized as the spiritual being, intuitive, and uh, good things are coming towards you. The Page of uh, Pentacles is all about communication. All pages are messengers. So present position. Um, There's a sense that you want to communicate with this person from your past in the 3D world. 
or it could mean you know using your inner connection uh, the 5d connection because we have the high priestess here you know both the high priest and high priestess are being shown in your your reading so or um, this card could represent that you are you know the the seed has been planted um, in terms of coming together in the 3D world and now you're you want to work towards that so you're making plans um, and you want to move forward with it so you're really working hard yeah okay I'm going to actually pull one card from the Osho Tarot for this this one has me a little confused so I I just want a little bit more clarification here and grab my cards. What do you message do you have with Celia and her twin? Additional clarification, please, for the six of cups. Does it mean reunion? Is somebody coming back? Does somebody want to communicate with her? What does this have to do with the justice card and the high priestess? Please, spirit, what do you mean? God damn it. All right. Stop. Seven of Pentacles. Patience. So, that is this card up here. He got it in his resisting position. And then he got it right beside the Six of Cups as well. Remember? So there's that sense that he wants to move forward with something. Uh, but he can't. There's something preventing him. He needs to move away from negative energy. And then he can hop on that horse off to his destiny. So you're getting that seven of pentacles and six of cups together as well. So let me read that to you. I'll just put that right here. Uh, where's my book? Sorry. I don't want to stop the tape because... Uh, just keep it rolling. After we shuffle everything, and I'm super lazy. 150. All right, here we go. My apologies. Good. Okay. There are times when the only thing to do is wait. The seed has been planted. The child is growing in the womb. The oyster is coating the grain of sand and making it into a pearl. This card reminds us that now is the time when all that is required is to be simply alert, patient, and waiting. The woman in this picture here is just is in just such an attitude, contented, with no trace of anxiety. She's simply waiting. Through all the phases of the moon passing overhead, she remains patient, so in tune with the rhythm of the moon that she has almost become one with it. She knows it is time to be p passive, letting nature take its course, but she is neither sleepy nor indifferent. She knows it's time to be ready for something momentous. It's a time full of mystery, like the hours just before the dawn. It is a time when the only thing to do is wait. So that makes absolute perfect sense. Thank you. Namaste, spirit. That's exactly what you are doing. You are waiting. You are in a state of rest. See that now? See how she is naked, exposed, standing in her truth. The justice card holds it, the, the, the sword of truth as well. The high priestess going within. She is going within as well. Going within in rest. Rest. And here, the page of uh, Pentacles, same thing. Resting, going within. There's still a state of working towards her destiny, but there's an acceptance about it. So she's waiting. You're waiting for the return of your love. And, you know, he is coming. He wants to come. He will come. Good. 
Okay, so um, where are we at now? We're at the future position. The Four of Cups, Discontent and Boredom. So this is a feeling of things are just not moving forward fast enough. St things have gone stagnant. And it, it's caused him to turn away from the sun and go within and then focus on the dark. He doesn't see these beautiful rainbow of colors trying to touch him, trying to draw him back from this darkness. Knight of Pentacles, oh, he uh, threw me for a loop there. Oh my God, the Temperance card. Bam, Two of Pentacles. Wow, okay, he fooled me there. I thought it was going to be all drama, but this is amazing. Four of Pentacles, or sorry, Four of Cups. There's a sense that he is waiting, longing. It's been such a long, hard journey, you know. Um, then we got the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, my favorite knight of all. Um, he is dependable. He is someone you can count on. He will get the job done. He arrives at his destination. And this is a very slow, um, you know, one step at a time kind of movement. So it took a very long time for him to get the, to this point. So, of course, it's going to cause this feeling of stagnation. You know, like things aren't moving quick enough. Yeah, that's because they weren't. Um, that's because it took a lot of planning, a lot of patience to, to really, you know, make this thing happen in the 3D world. So when this, um, pa sorry, when this night shows, that means he's arriving. He's taking that step off the tightrope onto land. Okay, then we got the temperance card this is my ultimate union card ultimate union card this is the zipping of the you know the helix of the dna it is the coming together of the yin and yang she represents the s sign that separating the yin and yang she is zero point energy she is ultimate balance and unity unity of all the mind body and soul and so when I see this card, this means that union is coming and is assured and it's a soul union. Not only is it going to be a 3D union because here he comes in the 3D, but it's at a soul level. And he's bringing with it the two pentacles. So this is a change and it's a very breezy change, but it's nothing drastic like the tower. Um, it is a going with the flow, bending with the wind, being the calm within the storm. You know, he was in the eye of the storm originally, but there's a sense that he breaks out and um, instead of hopping on this surfboard towards his destiny, he decides to go on a tightrope, but he still arrives. So yeah, there's a sense that there's going to be change in the future and this wait will be over. Okay, so for your future position, awesome. Yeah, girl. Fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups, double whammy. He got this in his recent past, remember? So... Um, yeah, abundance, emotional abundance is in your destiny. No way. Oh my God. The divine masculine twin flame. Here is the divine feminine. What did I tell you? What did I say? What did I say? I said the divine masculine is going to show up in this reading. Yes, he did. And why? Because of that. So I made this card for it with no other reason than to say that this is a divine masculine twin flame. Sorry, my hands are black. It's from these candles. So here he comes. Wish fulfilled. Should I pull more cards? I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't want to ruin this. How could you ruin this, actually? There's no way. All right, let's continue. Nice. Three of Pentacles, the grounding energy. Start in the 3D world. This union, this love 
is going to be grounded. Very good. Next. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. I've never had this occur before where both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine show up in the same position right beside each other. Wish granted. The, t the flames unite. I almost want to cry. I want to cry. Grounded in the 3D. Freaking awesome. I could tell. I could tell by your energy that that's what was happening. You're just a really positive, fun person. I just met you, but I love the crap out of you. So, yeah, look at that girl. That's your destiny. That is in your future. Congratulations. So jelly. Okay. Yeah, that's the first time that's ever happened. And they're, they're in there. The thing is, I mean, sometimes, you know, I've, I've had it kind of show up like uh, staggered like this or, you know, or above. It's never been together. So this is the first time I've actually, when I did the cards, I taped them together like this. So it was actually one card that I worked on. And this is how they showed up. Oh, wait, no. Showed up like this. Darn it. Okay. So I needed to actually show up like this for it to be fully uh, in its correct position. But it showed like up like this. But who cares? He needed to come into his fullness first. Uh, and lay, lay this foundation, this grounded energy. He's coming forward with this gift. Freaking awesome. I'm so happy. Okay. So the message from the universe. I knew it. Oh my God. What did I say? When this throat chakra card shows up, I always get a tickly throat. And here it is. And it's associated with this card up here. The Eight of Wands. Communication. Okay. So his higher self is telling him to communicate with you. Or he's getting signs and synchronies, synchronicities from spirit guiding him towards his destiny. So let's see what else spirit has to say about this. Queen of Pentacles. The Moon card. And the Queen of Swords. He wants to speak his truth to you. And he wants to do it uh, in the 3D world. He feels that there's a veil of illusion or confusion that is that he needs to address um, the moon is also the dark night of the soul so it's facing your shadow aspect right so there's a sense that he's really getting in touch with his truth um, speaking his truth you know, cutting through that illusion. Remember that Seven of Cups, that confusion, confusion. And now that there's that sense that he's being really being guided through the darkness. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles, she is very similar to the Empress here in that she's a very grounded, earthy energy. Um, she's all about abundance, harvest, creation. Um, she represents um, harvest, but she is the earthly queen. She is the one that you can feel, hold, caress, and kiss. Um, and she is also very generous and giving and open. She shares her wealth. The queen of swords, so this could be an earth sign if you are. I don't... I see all the queens as the divine feminine, different aspects, and same thing with the king. Um, so the queen of swords, you know, air sign, but it's it's the queen speaking her truth, truth, seeing the bullshit, cutting through the bullshit, cutting through the darkness, speaking her truth. Again, you're standing here with your sword of truth, and you cannot be wavered. Jesus Christ. So all air uh, cards are communication. So yeah, it seems to me like he wants to 
find clarity and speak his truth. Make it happen in 3D. All right, so message from the universe from, for him or for you. Sacral chakra, the emotions. This is where your emotions are stored. It's your passions, your desires. Um, it is, I want. The truth to be spoken. Clarity. I want an end to this darkness and a new beginning. I want him to speak the truth. I want mental clarity. Um, the Ace of Swords, triumph and victory. Right? Got that in the past. So now it's coming up in the message from the universe. So there's a sense that the truth is going to be spoken. The truth is coming. Um, so the Ten of Swords is an ending. It's a completion. It is, you know, feeling like you've been stabbed in the back so many times, left on the ground for dead. And now they're in it's a rebirth. Um, it is cutting away the darkness. Again, the Ace of Swords cutting away the darkness, the barriers. And it's um, a rise from the ashes. The Phoenix rising. And then we got the Fool card. A child perspective. Rebirth. Seeing the future through the, a child's eyes. Optimism, hope, excitement. Same energy as the Sun card. A return to innocence. And brand new life. New beginning. Is coming. There's going to be truth spoken. Brand new beginning. Moving forward with an idea. Putting an end to the darkness and movement towards the light. You cannot plan these cards better. And it all has to do with your emotions. Which is the sacral chakra. Okay, so the energy surrounding him. Oh my god. Twin flame union. Four of wands. That's my... Twin Flame calling card for the John Holland deck. This is my calling card. Same card. Oop. So, um, this is completion. It's harvest, abundance. It is arrival. It is you and your twin sitting in front of a fire, just resting, relaxing, enjoying each other's company and love. It could represent marriage, engagement, buying a home, property, moving, travel. But he feels this love and abundance surrounding him. Um, the purple is spiritual enlightenment. Um, you know, reaching for your highest goals and achieving that. So, you know, there's that sense that he's waiting for that moment to happen while the tower is coming down. But once it does, he's gone. He's out of there. See you later, bitches. All right, so three, please. Wow. Oh, my God. The Ace of Pentacles. Brand new start, beginning of your life together in the 3D world. You cannot ask for a better card than that to come along with this. And especially with the Union card. Twin Flame Union, bitches. This is awesome. He feels your energy around him. Oh my God. All right, so yeah, this is um, the coming together of the twins. But this card represents longing, wanting, yearning for it. It's a separation. And you were standing there with that key in your hand, offering your love, having patience. Okay, so the forest arts, this is about retreating. Um, it is movement away from the negative in to this introspective, reflective phase uh, so you can heal his heart. So, yeah, there's a sense that he's gone. He's trying to ground the energy with the two fours here. Um, so he feels this 
unconditional love. He feels he wants to offer this new beginning in the 3D world, or you are holding that key. But first, he needs to heal himself fully. Fully release that negative. The energy surrounding you, the moon card. Yes, this is his energy. The darkness. You are being presented as the sun. He is being presented as the moon. So this is facing your shadow aspect. It is um, releasing. It is the dark night of the soul. So I'm going to pull the three cards and I think I might read this to you. Oh my God. Four of wands again. Same position. Same card. Same position. He, you, you feel his loving connection. Ace of wands. You got the Ace of Pentacles, or he got the Ace of Pentacles. You're getting the Ace of Wands. And, oh my God, the Knight of, of Cups. This reading is so squishy, gushy, and warm. It's like almost like too much candy. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, okay. I love it so much. Look at that warmth. Even though you know that he's going through the dark night of the soul, you are still providing this beautiful, warm, loving energy for him. Four of Wands, like I said, there's the two of you sitting in, in front of a fire, enjoying each other's company. It's love, it's union. Ace of Wands is that uh, green light shot out of the gate towards your destiny. Um, so that's the go time, the go light. You're ready any time to take that leap of faith towards your, your highest truth. You're ready to take that leap of faith. Uh, but like I said, you're just waiting for that final cutting away of the negative. Um, but yeah, you're good to go any time. The Knight of Cups is um, the knight in shining armor, here to offer his love to you. Uh, but again, this comes with a sense of longing, wanting, yearning. So wanting this new beginning. But there's that beautiful feel that you're holding. Such a beautiful, open, honest, generous spirit you are. You, you deserve this. All right, so what does he fear? Of course he does. The tower. He fears the tower. Remember, he got that in his message from the higher self. The tower. Tick tock. It's coming down whether he likes it or not. Something built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down. Um, did I not say I wanted to read the moon card to you? Let me go back to that really quickly, okay? So, let me just... Where can I put these? I'll put these right here. Can you still see them? Yep, good. Okay, so let me read that. Uh, 18. And then I will read the uh, tower card because you guys got that twice as well. So, the moon. Shadow. This card represents emotion, sensitivity, and reminder that nothing in life is at a standstill. This is a world of constant flux, and one thing is certain, everything changes. This card is calling you to action. The time is now when you may be faced with your worst fears and look into the dark shadows of your soul. You must learn to confront what you've avoided and walk courageously through it. Always know that life naturally re revitalizes itself as it does, so do you. The shadow card promises that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Recognize that by no longer denying your past and letting the tears fall, you'll discover the diamonds in the treasure chest of your soul. This is a cleansing process to wash away and clear out what was once avoided, ignored, and pushed aside. This card indicates that this is a time when your psychic sensitivity may be quite intense. Learn to up, open up to it if need be, to turn it down if you must. Your body is one big psychic antenna, so just remember that you're in control of how high or low you want the reception to be. Mother Earth can assist you in a period of change, sensitivity, and healing. All right, and he got the disruption, which is a tower. A sudden, unusual, or sorry, unforeseen disruption or change is happening or is about to take place. Even if it appears to be a negative experience, it can lead you to enlightenment or a total shift in your lifestyle. In traditional tarot, 
meanings, this card represents the falling tower that eventually crumbles due to its weak foundation. Uh, whichever part of your life you focus on, this is an opportunity to rebuild with a solid, positive structure to make your you or your situation even stronger. There are times when the most difficult situations arise in your life. You choose, If you choose to, they can act as catalysts to heal other areas. They're beneficial because they're truly your greatest teachers. Learn from past mistakes, accept them, integrate them into your life as stepping stones. Be forewarned is to be forearmed. This disruption card is a reminder that negative thinking, limiting beliefs, ignoring problematic situations, and risky or careless lifestyles must be addressed so that positive changes can take place. Life has a habit of moving you forward, whether you're ready or not. Transformation of the body, mind, soul can happen if you view this dramatic time or change as an opportunity for growth. In the future, you may look back and be thankful for this opportunity. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. The tower must fall for the truth to come forward. All right, so three cards for the tower. Eight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. And the Ten... Or, sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Okay, Eight of Swords. It's a feeling of being locked behind this mental prison but it's a self-imposed prison you did it to yourself so it's coming on the masculine side so he feels like he's chained he can't move forward he's locked behind this gate the five of pentacles talks about uh, a loss a financial loss he needs to he will have to shoot himself in the foot in order to fully be released from this tower from this prison uh, so it's going to come with a loss um, there's also a sense of being left out in the cold, okay? So he fears, um, he fears the tower, but that's the only way to his freedom, and it comes with a loss. Um, and then the Wheel of Fortune is here to tell you that once he goes through this process, that uh, luck is on his side and abundance will come through. So he's releasing that negativity, and when you do that, it allows for abundance to come towards you. So Lady Luck is on his side. Um, this is a completion of a cycle. The wheel of change is, is coming, uh, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. Um, but there's a sense that there will be a, a loss of some sort. Okay, but he will, um, um, he will recover from it because ultimately it's to, um, you know, to live his true authentic life. Right now he's living a lie. Okay, so what are you fearing? Heart chakra. Why are you be fearing the heart chakra? That's so bizarre. Because here you are. You know, that's what's drawing the masculine towards you. This openness, this surrender. Okay, well, let's see what else it says. Ten of Cups. The Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. Wow. That's the second time this has happened. you got the Ace and a ten of swords and here we got the ten of cups and ace of cups so eleven eleven completion beginning uh, the ten of cups is emotional abundance on a massive scale it's arrival it's completion it is rejoice harmony peace all the good feels that you can ever imagine you know you got your home you got your safety security uh, kids are running around naked and it's just pure awesomeness um, so I'm sensing that you're fearing this completion will never come to be. Um, but Spirit is here to say that uh, you know what the truth is. This is a page of swords. That, um, you, if you go within and listen to your, your inner knowing, your inner truth, uh, then you know that this is going to happen. So have no fear. Okay, so the Page of Swords can also talk about communication is needed. Now remember that he got that in uh, his message from the universe. So you want communication. You know this is true love, unconditional love, and you want to speak your truth with him. So maybe you fear that the communication won't happen. But um, then we got the Ace of Cups, abundance, new love. Uh, new love sh sh you know, flowing down on you. Uh, and this card only comes when you are ready to accept love into your heart. When you've forgiven the others, you've, um, you've uh, let go of the past, and you're truly open to accept love in. 
So it's kind of like a warning. Don't be fearful and don't close yourself off because you fear this is not going to happen because it will. Um, Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Freaking amazing reading. I am so blown away by this reading. Um, I mean, I haven't been asking people to share their private readings lately. Um, but, you know, consider it because this is quite amazing. Beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to pull um, two cup, or sorry, two cards from um, Call It Baron Reads Enchanted Map, and I will read those to you. I'm just getting this ready because I want to take a picture and send it to you while it's getting ready to be uploaded. All right, so Call It Baron Reads. Just want to make sure the deck is up right here. I always forget. What additional messages do you have, Spirit, please? What is the final message that you have for Celia in her twin flame? For the feminine first? Movement, masculine, metamorphosis, wow. Oh, I also wanted to look at the bottom of this deck here, just for an overall energy. Solar plexus chakra, uh, finding your strength and courage and determination. So you are really powering up. Uh, or you are standing in your power, but he is trying to find his power, I think, his strength to go through this massive change. So please con continue to hold your loving, grounded energy. You are such a strong woman, and that, that is going to allow this transformation to take place, okay? So that's so beautiful. Okay, so these two cards here. Where is my book? Oh, there it is. So I'll read yours first. 28 is movement. Okay. You're in a time of positive forward motion. This is a time for positive momentum. As you come out of a period of restriction, you're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip change your hair or move your home or business regardless you can't remain where you are anymore you feel compelled to go forward yes yes you do um, no matter what inquiry you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic movement is also a state of mind the fog lifts and you now know the actions you need to take this isn't a time for fear let go and move forward yes and that is, you know, the message that you got from the universe here. It's movement. Take that leap of faith. Okay, and so for the masculine. Metamorphosis. So, um, yeah, major transformation. You're in the process of a deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings uh, through great effort. The process of change is, an, is often painful. It is never without its losses, sacrifices. If you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as a, shed, or sorry, just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace necessary changes so you can live your life to the best. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining, or unhealthy habit. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformative uh, time for you. There will be some losses involved, but you'll love what you become. Yes. Yes. Awesome. All right. So I do hope that this reading helped you. And I hope that it made sense. Let me know if it resonates. Okay, peace.